Hello everybody, I'm Owen as you may or may not already know and today I've got a tutorial for you on how to make your own channel art for YouTube. So what we'll be doing today is I'll be going over the basics of how to make a very simple YouTube banner and a matching profile picture to go with it. So to start off for this tutorial you will need Photoshop because that's what I use to make my graphics so that's what my tutorial will be based around. If you want a tutorial on how to make stuff without Photoshop for free, I will do that. Just comment below and I'll get onto that. You will also need a banner template. Any template will do. I'll have a download for one in the description which will literally just have these little things on the top and the bottom and some rulers for you to use to help make your designs fit properly onto a YouTube banner space. Now to start off, what we're going to do is we're just going to pick a color that you want to use. So I'm going to go with one of my favorite colors which is like a light blue or else kind of turquoise color and I'll just set that as not that. You have to make it, I'm messing this up so bad right. To start off you will need to make a new layer and if you look down in the bottom right corner you'll see like a page thing next to the bin symbol. You can't see it on my screen because I have an overlay thing over it but that's the only thing we'll be using from here and you can make a new layer by just pressing that. So go ahead and put that layer underneath the overlay border thing for that comes with the template and just set the color to the color you want to use. Now you'll see I also have these little white areas at the sides. That's not an issue because they don't actually pop up when you finish something. It's just for the rulers. Now what we're going to need for this is some kind of background. And it can be anything. You can just have some random pictures. Of anything so I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna go to Google and I'm gonna find some background to use of it can be anything it just needs to be high quality so you can just go to images and you can just search something generic like background or even if you wanted you could just type in HD and some high quality pictures come up I'm just gonna go background and see what pictures I can find so you see you got all these and then along the top you get some other stuff I'm gonna go into the cool one because obviously there's some kind of cool things there so I'll go over there and I think for this I'll go with this kind of design because it kind of works with the way I'm trying to make with my colors so I'll do that and you click view image most of you might know already how to do this and then wait for it to load up, right click, copy image and go back to Photoshop. <laughs> Just realized what I did there. Um, never mind, don't worry about it. So then you can go ahead and press Ctrl V, which will paste it into there. And you can just drag that picture beneath there and hide the color there for seconds. Because I'll be showing you what you'll be using that for. So with the layer one selected, press Ctrl T and you can just go and click on the corners whilst holding shift, drag it to make it bigger. You hold shift to keep the pixel ratio to keep the quality better without messing things up. And for what I'm going to do now, you can put the color layer on and turn the opacity down. Maybe about 50 or you can go higher. Just mess around with it yourself. This is just how I like to do it. But you can make new kind of combinations yourself. And that kind of adds color to it. If you wanted, you could get rid of all the color and just go with the picture. But this makes it easier for the text to be read. So next thing you want to do is select the text tool or press T on your keyboard and just type in the name you want. I'm going to go for Own Designs as that's my channel name. Because this is for YouTube, the only thing you really need to put on this is your channel name because you can have all your links down in the bottom right corner. So you can just make the text how you want. If you want to do a lot of changes to your text, you use the character tab, which you can get by going into window and selecting character. And I just have mine over the side here. So I'm just going to mess around with the text to get it how I like it in a font that I like. I use Ubuntu Bold a lot because it's a bold font and it's easy to read. And that's pretty much the exact basics of making a header. Now if you want to go a bit further, you can add a bit of lighting. 
to try and make things look a bit more smooth and not something very easy to make and it just makes it look like you put a bit more work into it so you're going to go ahead and zoom out on a new layer and hold right click and hold alt and right click to make your brush bigger and drag up and down to change the hardness so make it big and set the hardness to zero then above your picture with the white color selected just put in some white light and if it's too strong you can use the opacity to turn it down or if it's too weak you can just control j to add an extra one or redo it by deleting the layer by pressing delete on the keyboard or the little rubbish bin in the corner I'm also going to darken the bottom a little bit to try and bring out the light a bit more so as you can see it's looking different and to make sure that all your stuff is in the middle you press control semicolon or whatever it is or just go into view show view rulers and it'll bring them up and you just press control T and you see the thing in the middle you drag that over on top of where the two ones in the middle meet and for my background the like center of the circle things is not in line with the center of the actual picture so I'm gonna mess around with mine a little bit more to get it right to get it perfect and looking nice so you can see there that's a very easy to make YouTube banner that anyone can do as long as you have Photoshop but you'll probably want a matching profile picture to go with it so go control new and you'll get this tab you can go ahead and make the width and the height both 800 and keep the color mode to RGB go ahead click OK and to get all the stuff that you want matching like without doing any extra work just copy all the layers apart from the top one right click duplicate layers you get this tab and duplicate it over to your new project you see it's very big but with what you want to do now is zoom out to a decent farness out and select your two whilst holding control select both of these layers which are the lighting layers and you can just go ahead and bring them out see this can be hard to get right and it might just be easier to redo it but just for time's sake I'm going to do it like that of course it would be a lot easier if you did it the other way but just to keep this tutorial nice and short I'm going to do it that way so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shrink down that image that I had whilst holding shift to get it how I want and then as you can see your text there isn't here so you have to zoom out press ctrl T to find it and then bring it over if you have guides on it should automatically show you the center and if you want guides you just go view show okay never mind I'm wrong I don't I feel stupid now but whatever but you get these uh, little lines I can't remember what to call it how you get them maybe they're just always on and it shows you the middle I'm gonna go ahead and make my text a bit bigger so that's easier for people to read and put it in the middle and there you have it, you have both a profile picture and a banner for your YouTube. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was very... What the word I'm looking for? Very... I don't, I don't have a clue, I hope you learned from it, that's what I'm trying to say anyway. And I hope it was useful. So if you did find it useful and you did learn something from it, please like the video and subscribe for more content similar to this along with some speed arts and other stuff design related on the channel. I'm Owen, thanks for watching, goodbye.